Hello you guys. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, and that is make this video purely about unboxing items that I bought or received in the month of August. I don't usually, like I tend to go in the route of a full day's vlog, which would have been a great idea for today. And that's, I actually, I actually filmed Honest to God, I don't think it was more than 10 seconds today. And then just now when I got home, I was like, mm -mm. I put on lashes today. We have to maximize the lashes. I had a shoot at um, Garden City. I was with Sabrina and we were um, shooting with Woolworths at Garden City. Um, and then I went into Hot Point and did uh, some work for them. Um, just some posts that I needed to put up on my stories. And then went and had a uh, late super late lunch with my dad and later was joined um, by the rest of my family and so I just I get distracted when I'm working not distracted obviously like that's not the word but I'm focused when I'm like trying to get a sh like a shoot out of the way I'm just focused on like what needs to be done I forget to pick up the vlogging camera and so this would have been great if I was like, oh, we're doing this, we're going here, this is how we're shooting, blah, blah, blah. But that is gonna live over on my Instagram in the form of a reel. And um, what we're now gonna do is open a whole bunch of things that have been sat in a corner of um, my living room for like, oh, okay, I'm gonna pick up the vlog this week, I'm gonna pick up the vlog and I'm gonna talk about these things. And then I just end up piling this stuff. So what we're doing today is just we're just getting into that. Um, it is, what time? actually, I've got a walk, actually. It is 7.25 p.m., uh, a lot later than I would usually start any kind of vlog, but like I said, a girl has lashes on, and vlog, we must, okay? Okay, so I think I'm gonna, st I'm gonna start with um, some books. I will say, though, they're not the kind of books that you probably think they are. Um, you guys know I love reading. I love buying books, collecting books. Just the idea of building a library oh, makes me so happy. Um, but what I haven't been focused on is coffee table books. Um, oh, so excited about this. I was talking, oh, I still have the price tags at the back. It says 2,000 shillings each, but I'm certain there was a, a sale going on so I didn't buy it for 2,000 shillings. I got these coffee table books from Half Priced Books. Now I am very much the kind of person who wants to buy new books like I, I like the whole like charm of a book that's just been read and like people have like marked things that meant to them meant something to them and it's just you discovering them as you read along and I don't like that like I, I like my novels to be new mm -hmm. um, and then I like my um, that's for fiction. For non-fiction, I like to listen to those books. And then for, ooh, let me button this up. No, it is buttoned. Um, and no, it's not buttoned. <laughs> it's weird. And then for, um, but for coffee table books, because they can get pretty pricey, it just hit me, half-priced books, they're the ones. They're the ones. And I need to make a conscious effort to go in there, like every other month maybe, to just see what they've updated their um, collection with. This isn't your regular coffee table books. It's probably not right to, I probably wouldn't put them on the coffee table. So maybe they're not, it, you know, it's not like your what you see like bloggers and vloggers and Instagrammers and all these people, content creators, putting and displaying out um, for everyone to see. But this reminded so much, it reminded me so much of my childhood. My dad, he worked um, in media for the longest time, and so he had access to these sales whenever, at some point he was at the Standard, and whenever they had um, sales of like just old Vogue issues or um, these really huge books, and there were encyclopedias and atlases and all these like really cool books about all, kind, all kinds of things, he'd he he actually didn't he he even was telling us he didn't even have the money to pay for it up front so he would try and get them to take it out of their out of his salary every month so that he could slowly be able to afford it and i'm so grateful to him that he valued books and reading that much that he was like i 
don't got the money but i'll speak to hr and see if they can like slowly take it out of my uh, salary because he wanted to bring these books into his home and he also he also was telling us about really if i if this is how i'm, I'm with with all this uh, stuff in front of me we're probably going to be here for a long time so i hope you've got like your cup of coffee tea wine whatever it is we're going to be here a while but he was also saying how when he was um young like when he was a like a child he um he he was born and bred in meru which if you're not in kenya it's um it's a village maybe two three hours um, out of the city, out of Nairobi, um, and he didn't really. They did. They really didn't have much um, when they were young, and so one of the things they would get excited about, and they would kind of have a competition about amongst his friends, was who would find a book that was published most recently. So find a book that was, you know, he was born in 1960. So say this is maybe he was like. 9 10 11 or so um so if you found a book that was published in the 40s it's like okay cool if you're like find a, find a book from the 50s it's like whoa we're getting close 60s it's like oh geez like what is happening so he said how his dad came to nairobi um one time and then came back with a newspaper and the thrill of walking up to his friends to be like y'all this book was published yesterday. <laughs> Beat that. And I was like, the thing, like him and his like few friends were just like, <gasps> what? What is this? Like the interest, it was major. So to just hear him come from there, going into journalism and, you know, media, and then making sure to instill those values in us. And I know for me, I think more than my siblings, I don't know. I mean, they love reading, but I don't, I think I'm the one who's definitely like taken it on. Um, it's just, it, it just meant a lot to be able to bring this on because also for my little one, books that have animals, I haven't even shown you what these books are and they are heavy, but um, we have the, the, the Encyclopedia of Animals, a complete visual guide. And then we've got garden, gardening techniques. Who am I? Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I really am. I'm just here to take on the grandma role. Strong, strong with my little gardening techniques book. Um, but I'm just, I was really excited about this and I've found myself flipping through it. It's not something I just like read page to page, but I have gone back to it a few times. This one though, I would be surprised if there's no like catch up in between the pages and like it is so loved even though like she can't understand what's happening in these pages but like I'll just find it's just it makes me so happy is all I'm gonna say it makes me so happy that this book that's so technical is still so appealing to like a little child and I just really hope that that's what I'm also instilling in my home, just this culture of reading, and hopefully it'll be passed on, on and on, and yeah, just made me so happy. So this was from Half Price Books. Also, do you like my little green theme that's happening here? Just really excited about it. I'm so proud of my, as I arrange my dress, I'm so proud of my um, plants. I'm doing okay. I've got like, New shoots coming out. The one at the bottom there is not a plant. It's um, my Bakuli Blue vase that I got. Uh, I'm sure I talked about it on a vlog, right? Must have, right? Surely I did. If I didn't, I'm just gonna pull it up. This beauty. I got this from Art Cafe Market um, and I just I love it so much and then I put in a whole bunch of flowers and they've been there for three weeks now and it's just the purple ones are going strong and they're like vibrant the green ones are slowly turning and I'm happy with that I'm just gonna let that go for as long as it wants to I don't actually usually put it at that corner but I did I just wanted to create like this 
everything else usually stays as it is, like the plants, but I just wanted like a more garden-y feel. I'm gonna jump into Muthaiga Tea Company. I love, love, love their teas. Obsessed, I can't, I can't tell you. Just one, in terms of presentation, two, in terms of the knowledge and what, what goes into crafting these different blends is unlike anything I've ever seen. It, in fact, I realized for the first time after talking to the Muthaiga Tea Company team that there's like a whole community of tea drinkers and tea specialists and like people who know tea and, and like want it in its purest form, like forget the honey, forget the lemon, like there's a way to have the tea. And it just made me, like I don't, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really enjoy many drinks besides water, tea, kombucha. So it, it just makes me happy that there's like a very sophisticated version. It felt like I was like in a, in a vineyard almost. And I was, when I went to see the Mathaga Tea Company team, um, and you know how in a vineyard, it's like, you know, is it woody? Is it like, I don't know what wines can be, like all those different flavors, scents, smokiness, all that. I don't, I don't know. But to see it in, because I don't care for wine, it's like meh. To see it in tea, I was like, these are my people. I have found my people. And again, another thing that I really appreciate is just how much time and effort they put into packaging their teas. If I show you what their first um, packaging options looked like to where we are today and the different variations. So they've got this and also um, the loose leaf tea. This isn't loose leaf, if I, or maybe. Oh no, it is. It's loose leaf pyramid bags. So dunk it in your tea rather than like, but they, rather than like steep it what is it? In the tea steep, what is the technical name for it? I'm not sure what it is. I will link with Iga Tea Company as uh, along with everything else I'm talking about in the description box and you'll see everything that they um, have going. But they have this like teapot and there's a way and a method and a temperature to the water that's just right for the tea to loosen up and not um, destroy like the, the flavor or the blends i'm not doing it justice so i'm going to stop talking here but this so i've got two um coco zambarao and met du Mar maroc i was going to go french and do maroc but uh i don't know i don't know if that's necessary i'm gonna open this one um it's just it's so luxurious it just feels like a treat like you're i might actually i'm gonna have i'm gonna have one of these now don't even care if it's not the ideal one to have at night. Don't care. I'm gonna have one of these. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and sit down and watch some suits or something. Or uh, actually what I've been watching recently is um, uh, The Walking Dead. Not ideal because I've had a few nightmares and I'm not okay. I'm literally, like the other day, I was telling Patricia and she was like, I'm not sure I feel sorry for you as much as I am dying of laughter. But in my dream, I thought I heard something, so I woke up and I listened at the door and I could hear a walker breathing on the other side. And so <laughs> rushed back to bed to try and call my dad to be like, Dad, tell everyone to like the walkers are here. And I couldn't get my dad's, I, I kept sleeping, going back to sleep, so I couldn't call him and I try and like, wake up, wake up, you need to remember to call. <laughs> so crazy, so crazy, but that dream, that nightmare got me good. And so it was like in my dream, I couldn't wake up. I couldn't wake up to make that call. It was so trippy. Anyway, not sure The Walking Dead is the ideal show to watch, but I'm, I'm too deep, I'm too deep. I need to know what's happening. All right, um, on that hot drink note, this is actually something I got today and I just added it to last minute because you know, why not? Um, I went back, oops, I went back for some vanilla syrup from Art Cafe. I'm loving making my coffees at home. I got the most amazing coffee machine from Hotpoint. It's um, the DeLonghi Dedica and I just, 
I just love it. The fact that I can brew my own espresso in the morning and like add a little bit of hot um, almond milk and then a splash of vanilla syrup to make myself my single vanilla latte with almond milk. I'm not okay, not okay. I also found myself making, oh, I didn't even put up that po Oh no, I did. I did. <laughs> My memory is just like all over the place, but um, I did put up that post on my Instagram of me making my first ever batch of cupcakes. So happy. Was a little frustrated because Car no, uh, Chandarana only had th these zebra print cupcake holders, cups, cases, and I was like, what? Are we? We're doing that? Only zebra? Like what? And then with pink at the top, it was just it was a lot. These though. I thought were so lovely and they reminded me of something that Cupcake Gemma, who's the lady who I just freaking love for all her baking videos, she's amazing. Um, I'll actually link the cupcakes that I made in the description box. They are these, uh, it was something like van uh, latte, caramel latte cupcakes. Excuse me, that wasn't up my street, I don't know what it is. Um, but these colors just felt very bright and cheerful and I'm sure I'm going to be making cupcakes with just this household will enjoy these ones um since we're doing cupcake holders and cases i'm gonna jump into this you guys orca decor is that the name of that yes orca decor i'm not okay i'm i'm not oh i forgot that there was this like little scoop in, um in the Mothaga tea company box it, how cute is that I guess it's like a tea scoop up thingamajig but it's just so thoughtful it's like the whole experience they think of everything the whole experience anyway back to Orca Decor I um, had a shoot with Tatiana that didn't actually go according to plan and then afterwards I was um, we were uh, it was a two of us and afterwards I went to Orca Decor because I hadn't been there in a while and the last time I went, I kind of remember just being like, oh, there's some interesting things. I did buy these like, bed, not bedside tables, but like side tables um, that, you know, are, are okay and they were on discount. And, and I thought, oh, let me just see what like pieces of furniture they have because I really want to try and get like a bookcase and I have an idea of what I'm looking for. I walked in and I lost my mind in the most amazing way. I remember just being like, oh my gosh, these can they can I just how can I just I just this is the kind of thing that like I wish I created myself you know when you like something so much and you're like why didn't I do that myself same with Miniso but Orca Decor is like just if you've not been there in a minute just go just go because they've got everything everything um okay and when I say everything I really, I really do mean everything um i have been looking for a duster and like <laughs> everything my friends everything there's a bit of fluff in there not going to shake that too much nope dust pan since we're here they did have a prettier one though i shouldn't even show you i feel like i shouldn't show you this it's not doing it justice they had a much prettier one that what did it have lemons on it or something that was like more striking but at this point i was questioning what it is i was doing i mean i'm buying a dust i didn't go in to buy a dust so i just i can't i don't even know why i have a dustpan i don't i don't understand i don't understand i don't understand my dustpan did start looking a little dodge recently though so i i knew i needed one don't ask me why i got that i think i was just panicking a little bit <laughs> oh gosh cupcake cases that's the other thing i um i got from them these are plain white ones our cafe market they had these colorful ones but they also had plain white ones didn't buy those because i knew i had got these earlier i think the size is a little bit different though oh does it have the size on the on this thing yeah some look bigger than others it's okay all good it's fine i also got this like um uh, scraper what is the technical term but you know when you're baking a cake I'm really I'm really going deep in this baking space if it wasn't already obvious I'm just really enjoying like baking and exploring that side of the kitchen I find it calming and I'm trying to do things that just fill my cup I feel like this month 
I'm gonna need it a lot of it and so I just I'm I'm preparing myself for like a really soothing good for my soul like soul nourishing activities and things so I got this um, cake scraper they've got one that's like a complete flat side this one I guess this other one is too yeah anyway uh, got that from there the other thing that I got are shears because I recently had my curtain situation or window treatment situation changed a little bit i had this like curtain box thing that had you know those i actually have them here the ones that kind of fall off and it's just you end up just kicking yourself because it's not working and then it's working and something like the clip got lost or whatever um and so i had a rod installed in my bedroom and first of all it just made my bedroom window look ginormous suddenly i was like has my wall always looked this high? Like, are my ceilings that much higher? And I know that's one of the tricks that's used often to just kind of raise your um, curtain rod to much higher so that it gives the illusion of a taller space or higher ceilings. Definitely worked. Now, what I don't have and haven't had, I'm embarrassed to say this, but we're being honest here, haven't had since I moved in four years ago in my bedroom, are shears i haven't i haven't had shears um <laughs> i can't give you a good reason why it's not even about i don't have the time to look for shears i didn't have the money to buy the shears you know just it's like when you live somewhere and you don't see that there's a problem because you're so used to it until suddenly maybe someone mentions it or, or just you just kind of are looking on pinterest and you're like wow that's not what it looks like in my house. <laughs> That's the situation here. Anyway, sorted it out. I have these, um, I'm gonna try bring it as close as possible so that hopefully the light, yes, that's a truer reflection. Um, so it's more like a, like a sandy, beigey tone with these like frilly bits here. I haven't put them up, did not measure, not the wisest decision I made. I know but we're here now so let's just pray i did try and go for the longest ones um i just fingers crossed i don't know i'll put these up tomorrow and i'll definitely insert a clip here of um the what they look like so that we can all see if it's like a huge win or if it just is not working i just like the option of buying them ready made because it it removes the amount of things i have to do so first find the shears two find someone to like make the shears like a, a tailor to kind of get the measurements first of all because that's the first thing because i need someone to come in here and like find the gathers as i like them to be as or as i've ever as i've envisioned them to be been talking a long time that my camera just cut out on its own it didn't die i still have memory it just cut out it was like wow we've been here a minute um but there was too many steps if i went the other route so i just i was like look we're just gonna try it and hope for the best if it doesn't work i'm sure there's somewhere else it will work and the last thing i got from orca decor are actual curtains um that's what it looks like they had a black version of this which i think i may i actually picked the black version first just because i thought it would be good to bring out other like darker accents to the room um but i also don't want to bring in too much darkness and i i i, I don't want to a harsh contrast of like white walls black cabinet door i i really want to bring in a softer warmer element to or tones into the room now um and i thought that is perfect and i just i love the leaf pattern um oh you can see the black version here so that's the black version this is the one i went for the shears i think were 2250 shillings each and these were 4800 shillings each they'd better work they had better work if i look sleepy which i feel like i do it's because i've just done a meditation session my contact lens is also acting up and um and then because it's a new habit i'm trying to pick up 
my mind was wandering and one of the things i realized is i never showed you the curtains which is why i which is what i was supposed to do so i have to first say that they're not they're not what i they're, i don't love them i don't love them i do think it's an upgrade um from is that a mosquito oh god i do think it's an upgrade from where things were before but i'm not i just the curtains especially the curtains the shears i'm okay with the curtains not so much but anyway enough chatting let me show you what they look like i'm really trying to find the right angle because my camera is freaking out a little bit because obviously i'm pointing it towards the light or maybe may, i might actually just insert a clip from my phone my phone might actually take this better oh my gosh my goodness my phone is so much better because my camera just it it was not working uh i don't it's not it's not what i I don't know what I envisioned, but I didn't love it. That's a thing. They're okay, and I do think it's a it's an upgrade from what things were before. I just think they could be better. That being said, they will most definitely live here for the foreseeable future. Jumping into Miniso. We love Miniso in this house. Got myself some food storage containers. Um, and this one looked really good, like for lunches and things like that. I sometimes will have to leave the house in a rush and I'll have like um, my Greek yogurt and then um, almonds and grapes. Um, and I thought this would be a good storage solution. It's also got a fork and spoon in there. Um, and then these were just regular containers in a different size. Now that I think about it, I don't know if this is actually the most ideal because I really want to move closer, like more towards glass options for storage that's why I never like i'm not i'm not gonna do i was weak i was weak when i walked into mini so i don't i don't want to do the mindless i and i really don't even want to encourage like mindless shopping it's not really about that will i use the food containers absolutely but now as i was picking them up i thought oh but i've like i made a mental note to move more to glassware glassware is a lot more expensive though so like the glass food storage containers are just more expensive so maybe it's okay like we'll move into that a little bit later in the hair accessory department oh i really love that they've gone hard on that section of their store like they've really brought in lots of options um i'll show you guys my drawer i'll insert a clip of my drawer right uh, here as i'm talking the dividers too they're from miniso as well the ones that are in the drawer right now the ones that i use here are from miniso but i bought them a little while back um and i have them also in my top drawer for makeup and i just i just love the situation currently but i wanted to get a few things that i uh needed to have in my hair accessories arsenal the first are these little black rubber bands i found that when i had braids there were times i needed to tie the ends just so that it doesn't unravel and so i would end up using these like a lot bigger uh uh, hair ties and it just didn't work too well i also got myself these two i thought that would be interesting to have as just like a special accent um just something to draw your eye to the hair just make it a little bit extra special i have found myself fireworks in the middle of my video hoping that we're done <laughs> um but i was just saying that i found myself really enjoying these scrunchies like this reaching for this something about it feels uh, oh no mate please um and then the last thing i got are these little black uh hair clips i just i really i i just appreciate miniso I'm gonna come in close. Yeah, and even just the container itself, like the fact that it's in this little container that you slide, oh, we're, sorry, excuse me. But the fact that it's in this little container that you slide and then put it back just makes it so much easier to uh, pack if you need to travel somewhere and put them, I don't know, somewhere, like in your bag and not worry about where they are. I just find them so convenient. They also had a pink, like a baby pink version, which I also got, but I got that like a while back and then the last two things not related first is washi tape 
Miniso just does that to you. You just walk past and you're like, okay, yeah, cool, I'll take it. Don't need it, take it. There's like all these cool colors, but they all have an iridescent finish. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but it's definitely there. And I just thought that was cool and funky. So have that. And then the other thing I got that I want to try out is this kind of wallet. Now, the wallet I have is like that, that kind of shape, but I've been wondering if perhaps this is the wallet that I want to go for just because I have bags that are smaller and my other wallet doesn't fit in perfectly. I do have dreams of buying like designer wallet. I, I, I'm not a bag person. I'm not a shoe person. I'm really not even a designer person, but the idea that you can get really good quality craftsmanship uh, like beautiful soft leather in this tan color and know that it'll last you years because that's how long I don't know about you guys but I don't change my wallet out ever unless it's falling apart it's not being changed so this wallet could have easily had it for and I'm not exaggerating could have easily had it for eight years the one I currently have um, this one I'm not sure Miniso quality is going to last me eight years to be very honest so that's why I wanted to try out this smallest size in something that's affordable so that I see if this is the kind of wallet I would invest in for future, in the, in the future, or if it's my regular, which is just a little bit longer where your notes just kind of remain straight. You know the one I'm talking about. Um, but this just looked really cool. It's got like lots of spaces for cards. You've got your money in here. It does have like a feel of like the gentleman's wallet, but in a, that a, in a feminine way i do think sandstorm could make like really beautiful pieces like this i don't know if they already do i'm not sure but yeah anyway wallets are the one thing that i would happily invest in because they're going to last forever and i will use them so it's not just to sit pretty in a car like they will be used so moving on to beauty now i recent not recently now it's things recently on here if i'm being very honest but a while back now um a few weeks ago i put up a, a few stories on my instagram and i was wearing this shade from canvas cosmetics um this is oh i don't have the someone peeled it off this is just the thing like so much for like having your stuff the way you like it kids just they don't let you be, they don't let you live, you can't have nice things, good luck with all of that. So I can't even tell you what shade this is. Um, what was it called? Was it like a mulberry? I think that was the shade. Oh my God, that could have been the name, I'm not kidding. Could have been the name. Don't have the sticker name here at the, at the bottom, so I can't tell you. Uh, posted it on Instagram. Lots of people are like, what are you wearing? Talked about it. Went on Canva's page, because this is from Canva's, cos Canva's Cosmetics, saw that I think they discontinued this. And because um, I was asking about it, because that was the lot, like I can't go back in here. This thing is done, done, done. Um, and they were like, oh, we discontinued, discontinued that shade. I don't know if they discontinued or they're repackaging. I'm not entirely sure what they said, but they did recommend one that's pretty similar. So on camera, maybe you might be able to like, pick out that the undertones are slightly different. I think you can you can tell that they're slightly different. I do think that on a chocolate woman, these colors are juicy. Like ju there's no other way. It's just ju like you, juicy. <laughs> um, and so they so kindly sent over this stuff. Um, so this is the shade Smooch from Canvas Cosmetics. I'm almost certain like i'm gonna love it i'm pretty certain i'm gonna love it this this uh the new one smooch has more of a it looks like a more purple undertone um i think it's gonna be lovely and then i've got lip gloss in here yes it's gloss it's the one i think it is yeah glossy they're glossy lip gloss there's two shades frosted and cherry and then mascara which Talk about cheetah-licious up in here. It's so funky. Um, and then this is Savannah. I believe this is a, a liquid, uh, a matte liquid lip lipstick as well um, in the shade Savannah. This must, uh, maybe it's like another popular one and maybe that's why they threw it in so I could see. Um, but yeah, 
I just also want to highlight, <laughs> I haven't touched up my lipstick. What I'm actually wearing is MAC Ruby Woo. When I was at um, Garden City, I realized one of the shots would look really, really good if I had Ruby Woo or red lipstick. And I knew Ruby Woo was the one to go to. So I went into a MAC store. Ta-da! So that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And then another exciting piece in the beauty space. Ha! So excited, my L'Oreal professional family hooked me up. This, oh, okay. Oh wow, that is just, it's heavy. It's so heavy. So this is their latest um, release or launch. Um, and it is the Curl Expression range. It's got everything, everything. And it's all focused on your curls, just helping them pop, helping them stay hydrated, helping your edges. Like it's, it's got everything for that you could possibly need. So starting with, oh, if I can get this out. I've got here the Curl Expression Long Lasting Intensive Leave-In Moisturizer. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put it back because I wanna do a story about this. And then this is the uh, professional mask, like a hair mask. This is a shampoo. First of all, this is such a lovely size. If you were going to travel and I wonder if they actually sell this size or this is just like the, the packaging version, like to the PR version, I don't know. Professional Caring Water Mist, Curls Reviver Leave-In for each type of curls and coils. Oh yes, this is like our beloved um, uh, miracle, no, Miracle Length, yes. It's the professional treatment. It's a density stimulator for each type of curls and coils. So it's the it's got stamoxidine again, five percent stamoxidine and hibiscus seed, which uh, I believe is like an upgrade because the last one had castor oil. This one, at, at least that was the hero product that they kind of focused on. This one has hibiscus seed. This is the cream in jelly. It's a definition activator with heat protection. Oh, it's another shampoo. Oh, I guess there's two. Oh, wait, they might be two different ones. Yes, yeah, so because this is the rich mask. So this mask is like extra thick. And then this one might just be the regular mask, like regular mask. I'm gonna read up on everything. And then the last thing I have here is the mousse. Um, and then last department. Woo, we've been here a minute. Thank you. If you are still here, I'm just sending you extra cuddles and love and I'm just hoping that you're in a good space and wishing you all the good vibes and I hope September brings you nothing but um, growth and evolution and just like takes you to that next stage, whatever that is in, that you need in your life. So just sprinkling a little extra goodness since you're here. And we've been, in, we've been at this for a minute. Um, I'm gonna start with the first thing, no, the most recent thing I got. Today, when I was at uh, Woolworths at Garden City, I picked up this beautiful blue dress. I freaking love, like this is so my vibe in the, in the sense that it is um, just open and I don't have to worry about tugging at things and pulling things up and blah, 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 like none of that. I just, I love it so much. I'm actually gonna put, the, it was also on sale. I'm gonna put this on for you so that you see what I'm talking about. But I loved it, I loved the length, I can wear it. Ugh, I just, this is my vibe. Before we move on to the next item, I just wanna add, I bought this in a size medium. Um, usually, I think I would have gone for the small just because I think it would fit a little bit better, but the small just didn't get in as, e as easily as I needed this dress to be. Plus, I like the, the loose, fit and that's what I was going for. Just something like, I, I wouldn't even belt it, although you, you could possibly belt it, so I'm gonna, just gonna add a belted option just so that you, you see what it looks like. Um, but I went for a medium, the loose fit is perfect. I can like eat to my heart, little heart's desire and I don't have to worry about like, it's too tight, oh, I need to unbutt, none of that, love it. Oh, that's where this is. I was going to show you a dress I got from Mr. Price, but I forgot. I went into um, Portal Pharmacy at, uh, at Two Rivers, and I'd seen Tatiana talking about this, and I just had to pick it up. It's not focusing. 
It's trying to focus on my face. Let me bring this here. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to win so many points for this. Not gonna lie. Like I'm just gonna, excuse me, excuse me. Any boo-boos, any cuts. I'm just gonna be like mom of the year. I'll be like, kids, who needs a plasta? Anyone has a wound? No one? Guys, so you take it, it's free, take them. I'm such, I don't know what it is, but I'm such a plasta girl. Can I just show you what I, I'm gonna, we're gonna go there. Since we're already here, we might as well just go there. Just a second, I'll show you what I'm talking about. What I'm about to show you, I think we'll have to keep it to ourselves because it, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. This is my plasta collection. Can I just also put it out there? We don't like have injuries any more than the average family. I'm not, like we're not hurting ourselves and they're not these little cuts that we're trying to explain away. Like none of that. It's just, who doesn't love plasters? Who doesn't, who doesn't love plasters? Can we just quickly go through this? Okay, so these are regular schmegula ones. Um, and ooh, it looks like I flipped you off just then. And then this has, um, a clear one, a clear patch. It just looked cool. I don't know. Like I'm, I don't know. This is for kids. Bright colors, monsters, cool. Oh, of course. Don't forget, we've got our LOL ones winning. I haven't even shown that. I feel like I should just wrap that up and make your Christmas present. Cause honestly, they will be like. <laughs> I'm not kidding. One of the Christmas presents, not the Christmas present, but one of them. Honest to God, I think I will do that. I'm actually gonna put it away as Christmas stash. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna do that. Um, just because we already have enough bandages anyway to last us a lifetime. She doesn't need that now, so it's okay, we're cool. Another one for kids. This one's got elephants, it's super cute, super cute. This from Miniso. Matua put me on this one. <laughs> Oh gosh, this from Target, because have you ever seen anything cuter? This is from the brand Welly. I just, and they have these beautiful patterns. I need to show you. Like, look at that. What? Look at that pattern. Look at this one. Look at this one. I just, ah, oh, look at that. There, now it's focused. Oh, now it's back on my face. I don't know what to say, except I do feel like I would really enjoy having my own band-aid plasta company. And I just wanna do plastics. I don't wanna do anything like too medical. I don't, I don't wanna get into all of that. I just wanna design plasters and I wanna have fun and they want, I want them to be cool and funky and it's not just like dull and boring and the same old, can you imagine? I think it's just the torture of the old ones when we were younger, you know the ones that like, stuck to every last hair on your it was it was more painful taking off the plaster than it was whatever was underneath okay it was torturous so i have a thing for plasters and i can't i can't it's just i don't know are you i don't are you, is there anyone who's like me i would like to know just wondering if anyone's like me anyone who's watched my channel and videos for a while you know that i often forget things i'll forget words I'll forget where I was going with the conversation. I'll just, I, I, but yeah, there's something there and I'm over it. So I'm back on my vitamins. This is another thing I got from um, Portal Pharmacy. Uh, 1100 shillings and omega-3 fish oil. Save, it's good for your brain, okay? Clearly I need that. Hopefully it'll help with whatever is not working too well up there. Um, okay, so back to fashion so that was stored in my little mr price bag and i forgot about i forgot about that um but i got this dress too and i actually already wore it or well i didn't actually wear it out i just took pictures in it and i can't wait to wear it it's got this cutout at the back that's not too revealing so you can easily still wear your bra and be supported up top but there's like a bit of like hmm, just a little bit of interest at the back and i i don't know if polka dots will ever be out of style i don't think there's such a thing it's kind of like stripes like what i'm wearing now this is actually an icon um dress it's an icon maxi dress i just love it it's just it's perfect and my belt is from uh max uh fashion then from lcy kiki i 
they're just there are times you walk into that store and you find gems at least gems in my mind um and this was one of them for me it was it was also on sale it was um 3400 down to 2200 oh, it just makes me, makes me so happy i have a good number of lcy kiki dresses in my wardrobe already and actually a lot of them have like a like a floral print to them if actually yeah a lot of them do i guess that's the thing that they do lots of like flowers leaf patterns that kind of uh, motif going across a lot of their their pieces um what i loved about this is that it had like a, a short sleeve so not exactly sleeveless and i loved that um because when it gets hotter which it's going to start to get hotter um it's already starting to get warmer and warmer these days even though we're kind of we shouldn't we shouldn't actually still be in like our winter phase um but this is the kind of dress that would just be really comfortable to put on and I don't have to worry about like bra straps showing or whatever is inside. Um, it's got a belt to it and it's the perfect length as well. I just, I freaking love it. It's also got palms, which I've got a parlor palm at the corner. So of course I've got to bring that in. Okay. I could hear my neighbors for a second there. Um, I was saying since the other silhouette worked so well, I was so excited when I saw this because these colors, oh, this is so yummy. It's like a dirty mustard. I don't know what else to call it. Like maybe not even mustard. It's more towards the green, but it feels like it's got like a mustard to it. And then it just got muddied a little bit. Um, same silhouette, same sleeve, uh, sleeves on it, same length with the belt. Jackpot. I just, I love it. I love it so much. Love it so much. Also got myself socks. Uh, oh, I know what I haven't shown you guys. They're these um, two workout sets that I bought from uh, Waka Women Sports. I'm not sure, but I just, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I just felt like I needed a bit, uh, like some new clothes because some of the uh, workout pants, uh, leggings that I had were starting to like tear and have holes and I was just like well we need to put that to bed it's done we're done we're done with that one um I guess it's because you just like I'm I work out I was gonna say I work I work out four times a week didn't work out once this last week but I'm back I'm back to it and I think we're back to regular programming very soon um and so I'm gonna be back to my my usual like the days I go to the gym and all of that um and so because of that and like just how much things are washed and worn and blah 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 they I just realized I need to be more conscious about like building my workout closet um, also because I love working out and I want to look cute as I'm working out so why not um, and I've been enjoying having like slightly longer socks um, not necessarily like the ankle socks so I went in and I bought myself these from Miniso one of them not Miniso LCY Kiki one of them I actually already wore but they're so cool it's like Monday Tuesday went so they all have like days assigned to them not gonna stick to that um, but I just thought that was cool and then the last thing that I bought from LCY Kiki and the last thing I'm gonna show you is a basic uh, it's one of the basics it's just a white kind cropped vest um, and yeah, simple, just needed to know that it does the job because I've been looking for things like this to layer like with leggings or jeans or just when I'm around the house and I kind of want to have something on, but not too hot. And I realized I don't have a lot of that stuff. Like I keep doing this thing where I buy these dresses, but I don't have just like t-shirts. Do you know what I mean? Like lounge, like really soft cotton tees um or just soft tees doesn't even have to be cotton but just whatever is out there that's like you know the you know what i'm talking about like just really yeah like buttery almost fabric um that i can tuck into jeans or have uh when i'm wearing leggings um this is nothing like that this is like a simple cropped ribbed white vest <laughs> nothing like what i'm saying but i do want to build this side of my wardrobe as well. It was also on sale um, from 990 to 690. All right, that marks the end of my very long what I bought or what was sent to me in the month of August. 
I am going to do my best to like everything I talked about in the description box. I'll also just make it clear when something was sent to me. And um, so I'll put PR on the side so that just just so you just for transparency sake so you can see what was sent to me. And then if it doesn't have PR, I bought it. Um gonna say goodbye and good night. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's 8.25. It's exactly an hour. <laughs> um, I'm sure I'll cut things out here and there, so it's not going to be too crazy. But um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you very soon.